Hello everyone, I am Cassandra Herbert with Zest and Harmony Counseling and Coaching and I'm just doing a smoothie demonstration and I'm actually in my office. I usually do my uh, smoothie demos at home, but you know what? I wanna show you that you can also do it at your office. So at your office, if you have a refrigerator and a Nutribullet, guess what, which I do here, I can do a smoothie. So I can have a smoothie in the middle of the day. And so I'm gonna show you how you can make this fabulous smoothie. If you are feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling irritable, if you have a lot of tension, if you feel like you just need to be grounded, right? So this is my Get Grounded smoothie. So let me tell you what is in it. So first of all, I am putting some rhubarb in it. So this was fresh rhubarb, okay, that I, see I'm using my Nutribullet. So I'm using, I don't always measure. <laughs> I just put in, so this is probably a cup of rhubarb. So let me tell you about rhubarb. Rhubarb is still in season. It's usually in season spring to mid summer. And I got these at at the farmer's market. I chopped it up, I froze it, and then I blanched it with some warm water, just, well, hot water to make it um, softer. But anyway, it is high in fiber, so guess what that helps? That helps our digestive system, and it stimulates bone growth. So when I'm talking about the get grounded, so this is about nourishing the root chakra. So when our root chakra is off, what happens? We don't, we don't feel safe, we don't feel secure. What can happen is that can affect your immune system, your DNA, your um, blood cells, you know, and your skin, you know, all the foundations of our health, that's what happens. And so some ways to nourish that is to eat red foods and root vegetables and protein, uh, protein as well as foods rich in minerals so rhubarb look it is red it also um, stimulates bone growth and it has copper and iron which stimulates the production of new red blood cells wow all from rhubarb so I put some rhubarb in it um, the other thing I'm going to put in it is a beet so yum I cut a beet ah, beet Beets are root vegetables. Look at, they're like a brightish, reddish purple, you know? So I am just going to put probably like a fourth of this in here. Ah, oh, boot beets. Beets are so good. Like I said, they, they are rich in iron. Um, they're also got fiber in it and they're very grounding. So I'm putting some a beet in it. The other thing is raspberries. Guess what? What? Red, 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 and raspberries. Oh my God, they're good. They have vitamin C. Um, they're they're full of antioxidants. Um, so you could either use fresh because they are. It's summertime. They are in um, season right now. So I'm putting that in. So see, yum. <sighs> they're in season right now. So you could get fresh ones. I'm actually using um, organic. Uh, frozen ones and the thing about it is with berries you want to make sure you do buy organic berries because they are highly sprayed with pesticides so if you buy organic then it's not as highly sprayed with pesticides well or not at all shouldn't be and so the other thing I'm putting in it look at aren't these beautiful what does it look like? It looks like the beets, right? Yes, they're beet greens. And I actually got those at the farmer's market. I just bought them. They're not off the beet. They're actually beet greens. So let me tell you about beet greens. They're actually rich in vitamin K, which helps with blood clotting. Again, what I say, you know, when we're nourishing the root, it's all about, you know, um, nourishing, you know, our immune system and our um, blood cells and stuff. So isn't it interesting that all these foods that are rich in red color also nourish those things. It's also rich in vitamin A, calcium, and iron. What us busy professional real life superwoman need is that calcium iron, and what does that help with? The iron's helping with our um, blood cells, but that calcium, right, is nourishing our bones. And as we get older, we want these foods to, um, to help nourish our bones so that we're strong, that we stay strong and that we don't get osteoporosis and stuff like that. So you can get this from foods instead of taking like a calcium supplement or something. Okay, so I'm putting that in it. Something else that's red, goji berries, goji berries. So goji berries, oh, they are antioxidant. They are rich in vitamin C. So let me tell you that actually 
goji um, berries have more vitamin C, 500 times more vitamin C per weight than an orange. But I'm not going to put as much as an orange in it. No, so I'm going to put this much in there. And they are also um, rich in beta carotene and zinc and iron. Again, iron, right? Good for your red blood cells. Oh, beta carotene, all this stuff, really good. So I put that in there. And then I'm going to put some hemp seeds. So the other thing that I said is to nourish your root chakra, you want something, um, some protein, right? So this is a great uh, vegetarian, vegan source, plant source of protein. So probably three tablespoons, three tablespoons, actually gives you 10 grams of protein. Plus you're getting some protein from the veggies. So I'm gonna put that in. One, two, about three. So let me show you this. Look at that. Oh, and, and let me tell you, hemp hearts, they're rich in uh, um, essential fatty acids such as omega-3 and 6. They're also rich in vitamin E as well as fiber. Again, digestive system. We want things to move so that we can flow, right? We got to get that out because disease can start in your gut and we want that to be clear. We don't want any um, things, you know, staying in there, those toxins staying in there. The other thing I'm going to put in is a half of avocado. Now, this is a healthy fat, but it, you know, you got to listen to your body. Sometimes uh, fat, even healthy fat, can weigh people down. For me, fat, like this type of fat, actually gives me energy. I feel great on it. And the thing about avocados, they're rich in, um, again, vitamin K, folate, as well as as glutathione and glutathione is like a really powerful antioxidant right so an antioxidant are going to get those free radicals out of our system it's also rich in b6 folate and potassium all right potassium so we got calcium we got potassium we got iron i mean this is uh, a smoothie that is rich in what did I minerals right because we were talking about you know vitamins and minerals are going to help nourish that root chakra and the other thing I'm going to put in it oh thank you thank you for the love I don't see who that is but thank you for that um uh that thumbs up and so the other thing is chia seeds so chia seeds um good for your digestion rich in omega um threes and so I'm gonna put that in there actually I put a lot of, I just dumped it in like I said I don't always measure it so look at this now the other thing that I'm gonna put in is black cherry juice so the thing about juice is that I get juice that is unconcentrated unsweetened so this is just juice from ripe whole black cherries that's all nothing else not pasteurized any of that because fresh is best right and so I'm gonna put that in, but I'm not gonna use all this because this could be a sweet smoothie. So if you've got some blood sugar issues, then you want to, you might wanna eliminate like the raspberries or even the juice. And so you could do either water or coconut water, even though that could be um, sweet too and can affect your blood sugar. So you gotta listen to your body and see what works. Now I didn't put a whole thing of cherry juice. I do half cherry juice. And let me tell you, cherry juice, red, right? It is rich in phytonutrients and vitamin C. And so look, at, I'm gonna do half cherry juice, half water, okay? So there we go, look at that, oh my goodness. Ah. Uh, this is just, it doesn't, isn't it? Look at the color. Look at the beauty of it all. Oh my goodness. Ah, I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> Smoothies make me happy. And um, so I'm going to take this. And luckily, I'm the only one here in the office today, so I can make some noise. So I got my Nutribullet, and I'm going to just put this on here. Look at that. Beautiful. And then, okay, it's going to make some noise. Sorry. Or maybe. But well, wouldn't that be a trip? Okay, look at this. I gotta do it a little bit more. It's looking a little. smoothie 
guess what? Get some squats in. Get some squats in. Squats, you know? That's very, first of all, your feet on the ground, very grounded and everything. But I just have to show you. Oh my God, look at that beautiful color, that beautiful red. Oh my. So, uh, this is like exciting. It's so pretty. Oh my. So I have to show you, look at that. Look at that. I don't, okay, let me see. I don't think I have a clear glass. Um, I do, I don't want to use this, but we're going to use it. Um, Mmm. Oh my goodness. Mmm. 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 Very good. Mmm. <laughs> anyway. Mmm. That tastes really, really good. I think I need to blend it a little more. There was a little bit chunky in there. But what I'm telling you is <sighs> I'm feeling grounded. <laughs> no, but really when you are feeling overwhelmed when you're feeling scattered when you feel like you need to ground yourself that is the thing um eating red foods root vegetables protein foods that are rich in um, minerals that is going to help ground you and the easiest way to do that is to make a smoothie because you can um, put all of those together and it can be very synergized you know and really ground you and this could be your midday grounding smoothie so I want to let you know that if you want to learn more about you know smoothies how to make smoothies more about what foods nourish which chakra I have something exciting happening I'm actually doing a smoothie challenge and the smoothie challenge is happening July 18th and this is a free challenge and this challenge is going to give you over like 18 recipes that are all related to your chakras. And each day, like on Monday, we're gonna fo focus on the root chakra, Tuesday, the sacral, um, Thursday, I mean, Wednesday, the solar plexus. And so this is a free seven day smoothie challenge. And it doesn't mean you have to drink smoothies all day long, but if you want, hey, even better, you're just gonna have a smoothie a day and it's gonna be fun and you're gonna learn a lot. And we have a Facebook group, so we're gonna be sharing and all that stuff. So I would love to for you to join. The um, link is in the uh, description of this video. And so here's to you, get grounded ah, with a root red smoothie. Um, and hopefully you'll join again. I am Cassandra Herbert with ZestinHarmonyCounseling.com. Until next time, everyone. Namaste. Bye-bye.